getting ready for group four, game three. We've got three groups that have finished. Um, I've got the standings updated for two of them, and I'll, I'll verbally give you the other one for now. Uh, then we'll then we'll update that as we get ready uh, and try not to miss the open of this. But we got plenty of time to talk. We can definitely talk uh, more about how you guys thought some of these other group games played out last night. Uh, Saudi Arabia gets a 19-point game three to win the group for group one. So Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, and United States three go through. Eastern Asia sitting in one of the wildcard positions. The top two fourth-place finishers will move on. They're currently at eight points. Uh, group two, you can see Western Asia gets the 18 points today. Um, they move all the way to the group win. Israel finishes in second. Germany two and third. Those are your three auto qualifiers. England one, hanging by a thread right now with five points. Um, and I don't have these update. I kind of have these updated. Um, so Ireland finishes with 23. Central Europe finishes with 23. They're the two tops in the group. Sweden finishes with 20. Those three are the auto qualifiers. And then we have Netherlands sitting currently in fourth place with five points. They're tied with England uh, for that second wild card spot. So that's currently where we're at. Let me make sure I get into the game um, so I don't miss a stream as we start here hopefully and then uh we'll talk a little more tournament i love that you guys put your comments in there i promise we will talk risk roll cup all you want here um, different perspectives and thoughts for sure i might go to our tp Try to find you a good feed here. That looks like a good one. Good. Finland. Okay, so we're making some progress. Let me see if I can get the scoreboard updated. We'll get going here shortly uh, with this one. I promise I'll read through you guys' comments. Feel free to put any comments you have on any of these uh, groups and uh, what you think. And I'll read through them, and I'll, I'm happy to give my opinion um, for whatever that's worth on these. Get our scoreboard updated. Game three, we've got Lernsey. Ever heard of him? Uh, super great player playing there for Netherlands. One. For Northern Europe, we don't know who's playing yet. Zeriki, who just finished second in the Risk World Championships, uh, playing for Croatia there. It's like Demonic will be playing for Northern Europe. No. That was incorrect. He played earlier. I was getting those games confused. Centauri. I believe streams on Twitch. RT. PVC. Best friend of the one and only Kewl will be playing for Finland. Um, and we don't have Greece and... Northern Europe settled yet, but we'll get that in just a second, I'm sure. Um, you can see only two teams have points in this group, so a really interesting group. Uh, Netherlands won, and uh, Finland, the only ones with points. And the top three teams uh, will be moving on. So it should be interesting to see how it plays out. Let me see if I can get our other two competitors, and then we can talk a little Risk World Cup. I can see if I can get these other two spots built. Right before we start. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Alexander the Great's coming. Cool. Will they get their colors figured out? Everybody's good, but Alexander the Great, maybe he'll figure it out.
Got two minutes left for Northern Europe to at least show up in the Discord lobby. We will, uh, I need to fix that next game up. So that'll be time we're way over at 19. So the next one's at 20. Be group five, our final game of round one coming up after this one with group five. A much anticipated final there also. Yeah, 20 UTC, it's coming up right after. A lot of you guys tuned in for Hot Buns uh, coverage of Game 3 of Group 2 and 3 that just happened. We are getting ready to do Group Four, game three, and then group five, game three, coming up right after this one. Um, so you can see coming into this one, uh, Netherlands and Finland, the only two with points. And then you've got four teams all sitting at zero. Let's see if I can update Alexander the Great in there. So it should be very interesting. The top three teams will auto advance um, onto the quarterfinals. And then the top two fourth place teams will also advance. So currently, Eastern Asia is sitting there with eight points. Um, if this game ends with a third place team with less than eight points, um, Eastern Asia would be guaranteed. Um, we don't have a bot. No, 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 no. No bots, Centauri. Okay. Oof. Crisis averted. Yeah, no bots. Yeah, so it's going to be weird because Netherlands um, even more through now. Sorry, I didn't finish putting in Alexander the Great. They're even more through now, kind of. Uh, with I think they're, yeah, they're officially through. Finland even more through because there's less points on the board that can be achieved now. I'm getting distracted. I got real nervous about that bot being in there. Look at this. We're going to have a five-player game here. She uh, has a little game audio at least. Maybe. Um, we are playing on a very popular map, one of the uh, the more popular competitive maps in Risk. So we will see uh, how these guys play it out. I'm going to move Northern Europe down to the bottom because they basically are out now. Uh, with no one to show up and zero points. Why is that covered like that? That is weird. Weird, weird. We're going to get this fixed. Where am I in that car? Ah, in here. Okay. Got it. Um, so I'll go over the bonuses as they start to take them here. Sorry, we just ended with some fireworks after that last game, and so I uh a little behind on getting us set up here, but we're gonna be ready to go in just a second. Okay. I think we're officially all ready to go here now. Um so we're playing in Asia 1800s, a really cool map. Um I'll walk you through the bonuses. There's a lot of plus two, there's three different plus twos on the map, and two different plus threes, a four, five, six, and seven your bonuses stack up and I'll take you through as people are taking them um, where they're taking them so again the top three teams after this game will move on to quarterfinals the fourth place team will have a chance to move on um, if they score over eight points in their fourth place um, they will move on uh, for sure as one of the wild card spots if they don't score at least eight points Eastern Asia will be locking up the first wild card spot uh, okay, has been trying to get 
this answer. Been trying to get this answer. How does the tiebreaker work for top two scoring three? Uh, I don't know what you mean, Plasma. Uh, no, there's one more game after this game. This is the second to last game. This is group four and group five will be right after this. So playing for Poland first in turn order, Centauri. Uh, second turn order playing for Croatia, Zerki. Zerki just finished um, as second in the Risk World Championships this week. Um, also a uh, post on YouTube, so go check out Zerki on YouTube, posting great Risk content. Uh, Centauri, I believe, also streams and posts. I think so. Um, and then in third turn position, we have Alexander the Great, which is playing as pink instead of black, so we'll fix that. Um, fourth in turn order, we've got Lernzy representing the Netherlands in orange. In fifth in turn position, we have Art TPVC representing Finland. Uh, what will happen if two fourth place teams are tied on points? Yeah, so we'll use the same tiebreakers the best we can, Robin. Um, currently, um, the way the three third, the three fourth place teams are currently set up, uh, Eastern Asia is at eight, England one's at five, and Netherlands two is at five. Uh, so they're currently tied. We go through the same tiebreaker procedures. I just don't know if it's actually going to break the tie. I need to look at it um, because I know they're pretty close. So we'll look back through those tiebreaker procedures. I have not done that yet. Top two scoring teams stuff. No, uh, everyone will be playing in the quarterfinals. All 24 teams play in the quarterfinals. Only the top two fourth place teams um, also get to go to the quarterfinals. Yeah, Cam, it's supposed to be the same tiebreakers, um, but it is a little bit tricky. Yes, you're right. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what it comes down to. I have in the back of my mind if we end up with four uh, fourth place teams that all end on five points, we may just play one four player game tonight or tomorrow your guys' time. Uh, not tonight our time either, but tomorrow um, night your guys' time for that last spot potentially if we end with four. But I doubt that happens. We'll see. Yeah, another game would be great. It's just you need enough players to play in it, right? What I should have done... Here's what I should have done, and I, I regret it, is I should have said the five fourth-place teams play one five-player game, the winner gets through, and then the, the four remaining play a four-player game, and the winner gets through. That would have been more fun, but I kind of messed that up because I already gave everybody hope. So, sorry. Okay, so we see a plus two currently being held by the Netherlands and a plus two being held by Poland over on the right, um, and then the plus two by Alexander Great on the left. So the bonus is pretty evenly split. White's got the plus three in the middle there for Finland, which leaves the only team without a bonus is, do this, Orange. No, Orange has one. Orange Red. No for Zerki. Zerki's the only one there in blue without a bonus. Let's see if I can answer any of these earlier questions. Robin thinks that Kuehl, uh has Finland just going to attack somebody to try to knock him out. Based off what he was saying in the last game, yeah, Kuehl very happy that uh, Canada and Germany are out. Both Canadian teams now officially out, which uh, kind of stinks. Sad to see Canada go. And Germany won uh, now officially out. Germany 2 auto advanced into quarterfinals. Is that right? Yeah. No, Germany 2 has already advanced. They were in Group 2. They advanced earlier today.
The good news for these guys is they're playing a five-player game. Three players with zero all have a chance to get that third place slot. Um, do we think we see them targeting each other at all so far? Red's going to move out and guard the Korean Peninsula plus two from one side. Trust learns on the back side. Uh, so seeding round will determine groups. Round. No, uh, we we reseed after every round. So based off of your finish within your group in this round, uh, we'll determine your uh, grouping for next round um, with some consideration for time availability. But yeah, we reseed each round based off of your finish. Yeah, so we reseed each round and then we use availability there. Yeah, I agree on some of that. Uh, Sofa King Win says, uh, remember this is a tournament where people are stressed and feel like they got a pressure, so there are misplays and bad judgment. And that definitely happens. Um, that's one of the reasons the World Cup format is set to play three games. And in fact, um, you, if your national team was in the World Cup, you played six games, right? So you had a chance in that seeding round to auto advance through this round with three games, and you got to play three more games in this round to try to move on. Uh, so we spread out some of that misfortune, bad plays, misclicks, uh, those kind of pieces of bad spawn, bad cards. That's the whole point. We play the multiple games uh, to try to spread out some of that. Learnsy, I have not looked, but if uh, neither of them had points in game three, is that what you're saying? And obviously they both had one bounty. Uh, Zerki seems angry about what Finland's doing. Uh, Finland just absolutely targeting uh, Croatia's position. We're also in Finland's uh, video, so I guess we can mute sounds, but I'm sure Finland will mute him. Uh, Finland feeds Croatia. Finland feeds Croatia to Poland. Poland gets the kill. Croatia falls down into fourth place and is out of the tournament with that move. Finland obviously playing to eliminate as many of their teams they see as the toughest teams, which uh, I'm sure will get some uh, blood boiling for sure. Poland gets the kill on Croatia. They move up into third place in the group. Yeah, so I'm curious what the backlash might be against Finland moving forward um, for playing this way. It'll be interesting to see how it works out, because they're clearly playing to target who they think are the best teams to get them out of the tournament. Um, so do the best teams begin targeting Finland moving forward? Is that what we see uh, the best teams kind of saying? Uh, we know what Finland likes to do in, in the Game 3s, so, uh, so let's target them. You also have that piece that uh, Finland thinks Croatia is probably the most likely one to get enough points uh, to hurt them. Yeah, so I, I think the risk there for Finland is that the top teams all see what they're doing um, and say, we don't want Finland to have any points going into game three, right? That's usually how, how actions like this take uh, get taken out of the game. Um, it's tougher to build a rule specifically related to this situation. Um, so usually, um, what I would consider bad actors in that scenario, which I get it, there's some strategy to it, but the, the backlash still exists for them of potentially, say, next round, they're in a group with um, some, of the, some of the favorites. They may go after Finland.
Now, if your time's the same, Jolie, no need to, to update your availability. Poland sitting at 44 troops. Uh, this game has already been so weird. Alexander the Great for Greece sitting now 51. Alexander the Great needs points um, because currently in that fourth position with zero points, they're currently out of the tournament. So they've got to get uh, points to at least get that five points to have a chance. Again, I don't love the Finland play, but the Finland play wasn't necessarily um, a suicide, right? They're still potentially in this. Yeah, I mean, I think the the feed, there are different types of feeds in risk. The feeds we want to get out of the game are the feeds that you're trying to get one higher placement to get two more points, so you kick out an exterior of someone uh, for placement. I think that's kind of junk. Um, but there are some times that it's, I got a better chance to win the game if I make this, if I take out this external position of someone. And I don't think that's necessarily bad. I don't think that's necessarily outside of the game of risk. Um, it felt like targeting, obviously. Uh, but look where Finland's at now. They're at 60 troops, um, they're right in the game. They're not uh, in any worse position. And I don't think it's a never... Uh, I think in many tournaments, people play against the players that they think are best in the lobby. Go ask Pete and Kilted what it's like playing in a tournament lobby. Um, the, the players they think are best, um, they're going to marginalize them when they have the opportunity. Poland hitting stacks of red now. We're getting an oops from Poland, or Finland hitting a stack of red, getting an oops from Poland. And Zarek, she begins laughing again. Poland uses the everything is fine fire emote. And this game is getting out of hand fast. Again, Finland still with 57 troops. They're in the troop lead currently. Uh, they've got a bonus sitting in the middle of the board. Um, you don't like that from the England POV because you would rather see uh, a, a zero point fourth place team, right, Cam? That's what you're saying. Yeah, I get you. You can see red's lowest on troop count now. I mean, you guys might have to point it out to me, but so far Finland's obviously hit Croatia and fed them in a way. Fed them. Um, not trying to sugarcoat it or whatever, but they fed them. Uh, they hit the stack of Poland. 
but they're still right up there in troop count um, and have just as good of chances of anyone else, in my opinion, besides upsetting people and having wars going with people, but they have just as good of a chance with anyone else to potentially win. Okay, so we see the bounty here. Lernzi takes out Centauri. Ah, he doesn't. He fails the kill. So White will get the kill. Finland will get the kill. Oh, he no, he wins a three on two. Oof. That got epic there at the end. Okay, so he wins the three on two. Learns he does get the kill on Poland. I think we know. No, uh, Alexander the Great still has a chance there for Greece. But I think you're going to have trouble convincing me uh, that people made bad plays when they win a game of Risk. Obviously, there's luck involved. Um, just like there was luck on that three on two that Lernsey just rolled. Yeah, Lernsey doesn't want to hit either side too much to feed him to the other player. Um, I think what we see here, I mean, they're both through, right? Yeah, they're both definitely through. White and Orange are definitely through at this point. Alexander the Great needs at least one of the bounties to have a chance to move through. Interesting. I really would have thought we saw Finland hit pink here. And I, yeah, I think that's what he's thinking. That's the only the only logic for what Finland's doing here is he wants to see pink get through. Why do you say England are out now with risky came? I mean, the only way is if Pink gets more than a bounty, right? No, even even so, Poland would be in fourth with five points. It just adds another into the tiebreaker, right? No matter what Pink does here, fourth place can't be higher than five points. Yeah. Agreed, Sofa King. He can't get the kill. Yeah, he gets the kill. Alexander gets the kill. Oh, he runs out of time. Uh, that was the... Uh, the thin, thin line there of Greece getting through or not getting through uh, was that one second turn timer. Lernsey gets the kill on Finland. So Netherlands gets the kill on Finland. And we get some laughs. I'm assuming from Zarek. I haven't even looked up yet, but I'm I'm assuming that's Zarek laughing. Oh, yeah. Enjoying that. Uh, yeah, so uh, Poland officially threw in that third spot. Zeriki's still angry. Yeah, I don't think there was any obvious foul play there from Alexander the Great. It was a mistake, just ran out of time, got the pressure. Anything you want to say there? Is there any way that he wins this? He's down uh, 18 troops, 19 troops. He would need Lernsey. No, Lernsey's going to have five cards. This thing's over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Poland are through. So it'll be uh, Netherlands uh, one. Finland. You guys can't hear it because I haven't muted, but I'm just hearing the laughing over and over in my head. Netherlands one's through, Finland's through, and Poland's through.
But Finland has definitely created some enemies in the, the community here, I would say. Uh, the points matter only in the sense of your seeding for the next round. So we'll see the quarterfinals based off of how you finished in this round. Um, but they won't carry over. You'll start with zero points next round. Everyone will start with zero points in the quarterfinals. I can't tell if Zarek is angry or not. Is that a card skip? The, the next game is in 30 minutes, uh, Risky Cam. I'll be streaming it. It'll be on here after our really fun post-game conversation, I'm sure. That will be the win for Lernsey. Netherlands, win Netherlands 1 wins the group. Uh, gets the kill of Greece there. Greece just missing out. Just needed like five more seconds and they would have advanced in the tournament. Saved the tournament lives of Poland there at the end. So Netherlands 1 finishes with 37 points. Uh, Finland with 15, Poland with 5 gets through, all, uh, all three other teams are eliminated, Greece, Croatia, and Northern Europe, uh, all finished with zero, not enough points to uh, be in the tiebreak conversation for that fourth place spot, right? Okay, let's see if we can get anyone to talk post-game. Jump over to our tourney stream. Are you stressed about it, Cam? I'm stressed about it. If anything, I think this will encourage me to be more aggressive for values. Yeah. Um, it's clear that the game one and game two points. Um, are going to be major, major factors. Get into here, move everybody in. Working on moving everybody in. Give me one second, guys. Starting with just people that played. I'm missing a couple. Do you feel good about how that all worked out? Wait. Well, do you think the it was the worst players or just their the strategy they were playing with was bad? The the way Finland was playing, right? Arcs because we yeah, were all yeah. confused. I also, I'm, I'm I also really reported. Sorry, I, really bad I now, also reported I'm... in game, by the way. Sure. Yeah. That's, sure. Reported but in I, game. I, I... Never playing with you again. Yeah, I'm. I'm really sorry, and I. Re I kind of really feel bad now seeing your reaction. Never, but, never, never like, playing with you again. Like. Oh, are you there? Got a little cut out. Hold on one second. Hopefully, we can get it back. I did. I do see the uh, like one of the points of like you know just feeding right or just knocking people out just to get it over with. Since you had the most, no, you didn't have. Since you had the most points, I, I think. Well, we were through anyway. Sure. It didn't really matter what we did in the last game. Like, what did but, you even like, get by focusing us? I don't get it at all. Like, explain it to me, please. Well, 
the I guess the point of this feeding was just to knock you out. I'm really sorry. That sounds really harsh. But you were like the yeah. best one in the group. And mm, that's okay, that's please, that's please that's give me a fair game. Like I wanted it, a no, fair no. game. You didn't yeah, give me I mean, a fair game. Like, no, because no the thing sense. is, right? It's because Zerky is well known in the Risk community. So what is that supposed to mean? Like, what like, now? All yeah, the well known players are just gonna get. Uh, I don't know. Um, like, well, you know. I, I my guess I, my I, guess I is Arc TPVC yeah. was given advice from another very well known risk player there yeah. that probably didn't come directly from Arc TPVC in my guess. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm not really familiar with the risk community at all. Sure. I just know a couple of names through my friend, of course. And uh, he just told me I I guess he told me that Zero is really good player, try to like you know. <laughs> mm. I can understand it, oh, but so... I do not respect it at all. I do not respect yeah, the place. Wait, why, why hit no, the no, seven I'm on just one after... turn? Because you weren't feeding, you were just doing like a half. Like, if you were going to hit me. Was... I mean, Sorry. he was just smashing troops into me the whole time. I couldn't do anything. Like, what was the point? I, yeah. I thought Zerky was going to suicide into, into you, man. Well, I was I'm thinking about it, but I wanted to still try and do something, and I just couldn't yeah. do anything. Like, what's the point, man? Also, yeah, me hitting that three at the start of the game, I mean, that I, I got good dice, so, like, it was definitely a bit risky, but I just saw the middle of the board, and it's it was just chaos, so I had to and take, if it, I was, take a shot. And if I was a host of this tournament, I will honestly disqualify your team, like, no joke, because of that game style. Yeah, it's, it's tricky to write a rule against it. I mean, we've been talking about it through the last couple games, obviously, but it's tricky to write a rule against it, right? Or at least, yeah. or at the very least, I want a restart. Well, what I think, I think the the backlash will be, and again, RTPVC, I know this didn't come from you specifically, so in no way am I pointing at you. I think the backlash will be some of the way people will play against the Finland team yeah. moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. No one's going to yeah. want to give Finland this same position of they're guaranteed to go through, so they're going to kick out the strong players. Especially Nobody wants to give them two. Yeah, they'll be focused on not giving Finland any points in game one and game two, I think, is what we see. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's about it from me. I wanted to be uh, very honest about this whole thing. I yeah. didn't want to be very insulted or anything. I just wanted to be direct because this was honestly very disappointing and a waste of time for me. Yeah. 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 Understandable. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm... I guess there could be like a rule of like unsportsmanship like behavior or something that that's really hard to like engage. Uh, yeah, because like, like, were you trying if, by feeding Zerky? Did you think about who would kill next at least? Like, did you think that I mean, I'd be able I, to kill? I, I kind of did, yeah. It, it wasn't only just like bl blindly hitting the zero keys troops. That wasn't like the point. Okay. It was. I, I we kind of tried to play it like um, the groups, uh, the the countries that weren't like known for known to be the best that would get through. But so I mean, wait. So yeah. uh, I mean, so okay. I'm just trying to think. Let me just look at the points before because. It, from your standpoint, right? You're like looking. Okay, so we, Finland uh, we, had, had fifteen, and you and yeah. and then Netherlands yeah. had eighteen. So you did, you just wanted to prevent each other, right? Like you don't really. Oh wait a minute. Okay, wait, what was your move, thought process before the game? You were Sorry. gonna move uh, on either to... way. You were gonna yeah. move on either way, whatever the move. Yeah. Like just but, played fair. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, and can't do anything about now, really. But. Um, the thought process was kind of like um, uh, that we kind of get to decide who gets through and who gets not, who does not get through. That was kind of what we can do. So tried to play it with that, but is it yeah, I don't, I don't like know. those kinds of playstyles. So that's not yeah. what I did. <laughs> I I kind of feel bad after the game now, and <laughs> for a good reason. But, you know, I watched the previous game, and it was basically the exact same thing. There was yeah, one I, or two people uh, just focusing on some what, uh, players. We as well. so yeah, I think, so I think we've seen some of it being, you know, uh, we need this team to lose game three, and this guarantees us going through. That's more of what we've seen. This play style was more of we don't want to see this one team go through. I think there's I mean, a little bit of a difference. Honestly, I, mean, I think even... that's why Germany was... Um, was attacked last game because 
there was not really a reason to, but the people did go. Did yeah, that's go for them. that's fair. Central Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotcha. Yes, kind of in these back-to-back -back games is the first time we've seen teams targeted because they're expected to be good teams. Yeah, in my I saw that and I was so against it. Yeah, I I knew I was I was not gonna do this. I mean, what's even worse, our team just had very horrible luck whole tourney. Like first three games, we couldn't do anything. We we, we had bad, bad cards. We we were bad yeah, in turn order. Rough. Everything was everything was against us. It was just painful as fuck the yeah. whole time. Yeah. We can't do anything, and we were pretty much stronger than almost all of the teams. What's even worse? Better luck, even good. <laughs> yeah, just just disgusting. Turn it yeah, me. I mean, luck obviously always plays a part in risk. Um, but yeah, it's it can be very painful, no question. But yeah, that's about it from me, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> See you, Zeriki. Bye. Congrats, Zeriki, on best. finishing second in the uh, World Championships. So he did that this week. Oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Lernzy, you uh, just got the game handed to you, you felt like there, or what do you think? Any uh, strategy that paid off for you? Uh, well, yes and no. <laughs> um, I think I did get the game handed to me by um, Greece not being able to get the kill in time. Yeah. But other than that, like, the kill on Poland was was strategy, just, and lucky that with the uh, three card trade. Right. Yeah, getting the trade on three there was critical, which is, yeah, always helpful yeah. in that situation. Yeah. Yeah, I had pretty bad cards. I, I didn't have a set on four, and everybody was already setting on... I, I was planning on killing, but if I had a set, but nope. Two, yeah, yeah, we figured, two. like, especially after Finland hit you guys, we were in our VC, like, okay, if they have a trade, they're gonna trade, because if they don't, they die. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah and, and also like I I knew I'm like okay wait a minute so this is the, the this is the game now right this is not like a normal progressive game it's like okay we're feeding like it's yeah. just a bloodshed frenzy so I'm like okay I need to feed somebody because it's just it's a roller coaster it's just uh what is like a domino effect yeah it happens real yeah. fast yeah mm -hmm. I, I I think the map is a great map by the way I think it's yeah really good one of the best uh, yeah. one of my favorite yeah. maps in you yeah. All right, everyone. Centauri, I do want to ask. Yeah. Uh, I have one more question. At the, in the first turn, you decided to go for the top right bonus when you had a different bonus where you had a, both a four and a two in there. Was there any reason for that? Yeah, well, first of all, yeah. No, I definitely considered it. Um, but I did not really like the idea of being in the middle. I did not like uh. it. Um, yeah, okay, and I just enough. like the corner because it's less likely, well, first of all, to get stolen by white, you know, so if <laughs> I was in that bonus, it, I would have probably, you know, like, I mean, I'm yeah, not Zeriki, obviously, enough. but, you know, obviously, if I did take that bonus, I would have met the same fate as Zeriki, um, and that those two bonuses at the top, top right are just beautiful, because also, like, you have to split, and also, he almost, you almost didn't get that kill, right? Three on two. True. I, mean, I got. I got. I didn't. I lose thirteen troops against your thirteen or something. Yes. Yeah, like, so I lost a lot of troops. Yeah, there because and I was like, wait, no, I'm not getting it. Yeah, because that's the thing, right? You always have to be careful. Is always do the risky rolls first, and the moment you hit the stack, uh, I don't even know, like an indie or something. I'm like, he's not gonna hit. He's not gonna get the two. Up, up, because it, it's just that's just how risky yeah. it is. It's just I've seen it way too many times. Yeah. Um, I slow roll. I slow rolled it, and I yeah. I got like I think I got like a six and a four against a five and a three. Like it was close. Yeah. Wait. What's the what's the percentage on a three on two? Like manual. Like low. Yeah, <laughs> that's like twenty seven or something. Wait, but but then I would have then I would have made it right. So. No, you had a five and a three, and I had a six and a four. As my rolls. Wait, what's the turn order? So you were trying to kill me, so then it would have been white, and white is Finland, so it doesn't really matter. So white would get the kill after, mm -hmm. if that's possible. Yeah, so it doesn't... Yeah. Okay, so whether that roll would have gone or not doesn't really change whether I would have made it. I mean, that speed is really important, you know? Yeah. I mean, that was Greece's game, 
if I'm correct. Yeah, Greece. Yeah. True. Yeah, um, Greece would have had the game, the game handed to them by Finland. Yeah, I, I was, and then they I was just sitting here. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? And then I'm just looking at, okay, three territories left, two territories left, and one territory. <laughs> and then I see it. Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. You know, when, when Greece tried to kill, um, when Greece tried to kill White, I was just looking at the time like, wait, they might not get it. They might not get it. Come on, don't get it, don't get it. Yes! Yeah, I, actually, at first, I didn't actually know that that meant Poland could go through. I was kind of, like, I, I knew that that would imply something. Like, hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there a chance? We're going to call that good there. Uh, we had a drop out again, so we'll call that good uh, for that one. Obviously got pretty intense there at the end. Uh, we'll see what the backlash is moving forward in the Risk World Cup for Team Finland um, and how they decide to play that out, trying to target one of the top teams. Um, that may not play out well in terms of backlash in future rounds, but we'll see. Uh, and we'll get ready here for uh, Group 5. Game 3 coming up. I'm Matt Mitch on Risk, streaming live on Twitch and posting on YouTube. Appreciate having you guys here. If you'd like more info on the Risk World Cup or to keep up with standings and schedules, go to riskworldcup.com or you can follow us on Twitter at Risk World Cup or Instagram Risk World Cup. See you guys next time.